everyone. Today we are going to be thinking about fantastic friction. I wonder what you already know about the force friction. I wonder if you can think of examples when friction is useful and also when we want to reduce the amount of friction. Have a think about how we humans move around. Cars, trains, bikes, even walking. Can you think of anything you already know about this? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these things. Okay, so let's investigate some friction ideas. You're going to need two similar size books. The books can be your school exercise books, reading books, or other books that you find at home. The books on top of each other will slide off easily. Hmm. But what you will do is interweave the pages of the books. Start with the back cover of each book and carefully overlap the pages of the two books, one book at a time, alternating as you go. You might want to turn two pages from each book at a time, or just one page, but you will keep going until you reach the front of the book. Okay, so after you've done that, you will then need to test the strength of the friction acting on the books. You will take a spine from each book in your hands like this and you will pull. Can you pull them apart? Now I've used paperback books, but maybe you will use hardbacks, glossy magazines or even newspapers. I want you to remember, scientists, engineers and designers need to think about friction all the time. Making machines, designing vehicles and even choosing ice skates are just some of the many examples of when friction needs to be thought about and measured carefully. What questions do you have? Pause the recording to have a think. I wonder if you thought of any of these questions. What will you choose to find out more about today? I wonder what you will choose to find out about fantastic friction. Don't forget to tell someone what you find out. It could be your family, your teacher or your school friends. Remember, have fun investigating friction. I think you'll be surprised at what you find out.